Hello and welcome back. Okay, so I wanted to talk to you about creating Google Forms. We're going to embed a Google Form into our game website so that we can collect data on who got what outcome and then we can do our little probability calculations. So, okay, so I'm at Google Forms. So what I did is I went to Google, I went to my little dot dots here and I chose Forms. So the first thing I want to do is I need to make a form for data collection. So I did that a while ago, but I'm going to make a new one just to show you. So I'm going to go blank. I'm not going blank. I'm going to select blank. There is a difference. And now my screen is blank. Okay, here we go. So we're using this to collect data on the outcomes of our game. So when we did our game, we created a tree diagram and people had to make choices. It was a choose your own adventure. And then you have end outcomes. And we wanted to, like we calculated what the probability was of, of getting these different outcomes. And now when people play our games, we need to collect the data to see if, if our predicted calculations match what actually happened. So we want to know the outcomes. So the first thing I'm going to do, so I'm going to do um, game outcomes. I'm going to call this game outcomes one because I already did that before. So, okay. So that is now the name of my form. So if I click on there, it does that. So I need my question. So which outcome is this? And the way this works is, so here's my game. So the person gets down, you know, they, they play your game. Let me remove this because I'm going to put it on it. So, you know, each, each scenario has a different outcome. So what I'm going to do at the end screen for that scenario is I'm going to put this is outcome one or this is outcome two or whichever outcome it is. And then that way I'm going to embed this little form and people click over and they click on which outcome it was and you get their data. So, okay, so let's say I had four outcomes. This is one or maybe I have five. Let's do add all. There we go. Hooray. I'm going to make it required because I do want that to happen. I might make it prettier. Usually I make it prettier. I'm trying to rush through this just so we have something. <clears throat> Let's see here. Needs to look game like. Uh, okay, fine. Oh, a lightsaber. Let's do a lightsaber. Always go with the lightsaber. Okay, so now we have our Google form and we're gonna embed it in our website. So on our website, so if I wanna put this in my website and this automatically saves to Drive, see, all changes saved in Drive. So when I go to Google Sites and I go right here, I wanna put my little, my form right there. If I go to the insert, so I'm gonna to go to the page that I want it on. If I go to this little insert tab on our dashboard, so I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna go down here. So up here you have all your stuff, your content, we have buttons, which were created, but I want to go down here all the way next to the bottom says forms. It's going to pull up all my forms that I've created. And very slowly, apparently. There we go. Game outcomes. I think it's this one. <clears throat> Hopefully. Here we go. I'm going to put insert. And it puts my form right here. I'm not sure why it's not being, it doesn't look very pretty. I guess, I don't know. Okay, but anyway, so it goes right here. So then when people get to this outcome, they just click down here, they click which outcome it is. So it says, this is outcome one. So they click outcome one, submit, and it gives you the data. Now I wanted to show you, so you're done on that. So that's good. So each outcome page, you would have like, this is outcome one, this is outcome two, this is outcome whatever. You would put the same form and people would select which outcome it is. But so when, you, when you're done with all that, you've gathered data. So this is a form that I did a long time ago. When you're creating it, it has questions, responses, settings. It doesn't have anything in the responses, right? Because you haven't, nobody's filled it out. But if you get people starting to fill it out, you get this thing that says responses. So if I click on that, and it lists it out question by question. It'll do like that. But you can, and sometimes it'll give like pie charts. It's super cool. But if you click on this right here, it'll create a spreadsheet. And then we're able to use that to do all kinds of stuff. So create new spreadsheet. <clears throat> My time is about to end. But this is, um, it's in Google Sheets, but it works just like Excel. So then we'll be able to use that to, to calculate stuff. So notice it has their little responses right here. So for us, it would be the, which outcome is this? It would be like one, two, three, four, whatever. And then you could use that for, for probability. 